Hey y'all, it's Elizabeth and welcome back to my channel and if you're new, thanks for joining me. And today I'm going to be asking my husband, Ben, about questions about the Navy and things about him and his experiences and stuff. Basically like a little interview. So if you're interested in learning about him, just keep watching. So what's your name? Your name's Ben, right? Just have to quiet. Is your name Ben? Benjamin, that's his really? name. No, Ben. Ben, he likes to be called Ben. Okay, so what made you join the Navy and not the Army or the Marines or the Air Force or the Coast Guard or what? Um, just more travel. I, I grew up in a really small town in North Carolina and basically spent my whole life there. Only went out of state probably a handful of times, three or four times. And I, I got kind of some, some stories from my grandfather and my uncle that were both in the army and, you know, it didn't sound too appealing. Uh, I don't really know a whole lot about the Navy, but travel was the biggest thing for me. Um, I didn't like college. I just wanted to get out, see as much of the world as I could and experience you know, some of the cool things that are out there that, that most people don't get to see. Sorry, I realize my insurance on button. I need to walk down. So how old were you when you joined the Navy? I was 18. Uh, I was probably about a month after I turned 18. Uh, I went to the recruiter office and I signed up. Um, and I actually didn't leave for boot camp until August of the following year because I had to finish uh, high school first. So I was still in school, signed up and then waited. And uh, you know, I was still 18 when I actually went to boot camp, so. And you wanna go right out of high school, you didn't wanna wait? I didn't wanna wait because I didn't feel like being in that area anymore. Um, I didn't really feel like a regular job was doing me much justice, so I, you know, I joined the military and it wasn't for, it wasn't because I wanted to go fight or, you know, kill a bunch of people. I just, I wanted a travel experience and that's kind of a really common misconception with people is, you know, oh, join the military, you know, I'm going to go over to Iraq and, you know, fight or get blown up or whatever, you know, parents are scared that that's going to happen and reality of the Navy is, is that's, you know, complete opposite. It doesn't, doesn't happen that way unless you volunteer for it. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I, that's why I did it. Um, yeah, yeah, that puts my mind at ease, too, that I know. I mean, like, I know your ship can sometimes go, like, in the, right, in the Gulf and stuff. Yeah, but... It makes me nervous, but... You're kind of safe. You're kind of distanced away, aren't you? Yeah, you're we like right up in there. <laughs> technically classified as a as a technical support branch of the military. So, you know, while uh, Army and Marines are out on the ground fighting and you know shooting and that kind of stuff, tanks and, and Navy SEALs. Well, they're more secretive. They're not, you know, right there in the right battle. There, so yeah, that's, that's while they're doing that, we're sitting on a ship. You know. Two, three hundred miles off the coast, waiting for somebody to give us the word, press the red button, and there you go, blow somebody up. You know, we send planes and helicopters and yeah, all that kind of stuff. Of you know, LCACs with Marines on them and and all that to actually storm the storm the beaches, if you if you will. But yeah, unless you volunteer for it, you're not going to be doing that. You know, you just you're doing your regular job and kind of hiding. <laughs> So how long have you been in the Navy? I've been in the Navy a little over 10 years. I joined in August 2005 and currently it's 2016 January so about almost 10 and a half years. Mm -hmm. um, Do you plan on staying in? Yeah. You, uh, for how long? At least 20. Uh, you know, get the, get the retirement, collect my pension. Um, <laughs> Maybe longer. Yeah, if the Navy affords me you know, an opportunity to stay longer than I might, um, you know, more money in my pocket. 
and uh, you know, better off. Mm -hmm. What's your rate, which means job? <laughs> yeah, my, my job in the Navy is an electrician's mate, uh, so I do electrical work pretty much on everything. Um, you know, that everything that the GSEs don't work on. What's um, a GSE? GSEs work on gas turbine. What does it stand for? You have to tell them, they don't know. Uh, GSEs are gas turbine system electricians, so they work on the gas turbine engines. We work on everything else pretty much. Um, you know, their, their job's tailored specific to that type of equipment. Ours is, you know, very general. It's anything from, you know, computers to coffee makers to, you know, giant switchboards or lights, um, you know, pretty much everything that has power running through it, I can work on it, fix it, you know, uh, stuff like that. So, I do a lot of electrical work, wiring, um, you know, everything. What do you like and hate about the Navy? Or dislike? I shouldn't say hate, I guess. <laughs> I do not like it. The biggest thing I like is the traveling aspect. Like I said before, that's why I joined. Um, I probably like that the most. You get to see different cultures, different types of people, um, you know, different types of food, and you get to see the world. You know, if I didn't join the Navy, I probably wouldn't have had that opportunity. You know, I didn't grow up very wealthy, so it was it was just a really good opportunity, and that's that's probably what I like the most. Um, I don't really dislike much. Um, probably being away from family is probably the hardest thing. Um, and I mean, it comes with the job. Anybody that has a job is gonna go away for, you know, the day and come back at night. You know, I'm sure a lot of people can relate to that. You know, you're not with the spouse all the time unless you both work full time at home. So, um, but it's a little bit different with us because, you know, we go out to see and get to see these different places. Um, but that's that's pro it's not it's not too hard for me maybe for her but you know it's it's just yeah, it just comes with the job it comes with cool things. yeah I mean it comes with the it comes with the contract that I signed so you know it's it is what it is I guess. Mm -hmm.